Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what it is? Jermaine Diamond K in here. And uh, I got a lot to say, a lot, lot, lot of things going on. Of course, you can always join the conversation via social media at the Diamond K Show at Radio on Fire. Uh, as far as entertainment, as far as uh, hip hop world is concerned, uh, a lot of people talking about Joe Budden, uh, the whole fiasco with the podcast, him firing Roy and Maul, who were co-hosts on, on the show and also friends of Joe Budden as well. So he fired these guys on air. They weren't there. Uh, he claims that they were in breach of the contract because they didn't show up. And uh, he went ahead and fired them. Uh, so a lot of people have been talking about it online, uh, coming at it from different perspectives. Uh, obviously, I have uh, said my piece, but I mean, it is his thing. Of course, he can do do with it what he wants to do. Uh, and uh, many people questioning the methods that he went about doing things and, and uh, his ego out of control, some people think. And then uh, some people feel like the, the co-host uh, we're out of control, but um, Kevin Hart recently talked about his thoughts on it. Uh, he does a show called Straight from the Heart radio show, and uh, he spoke about the fiasco that is the uh, implosion of uh, the Joe Budden podcast. Uh, and uh, well, let's let's do this. Let's uh, let's let's play. What uh, what he had to say? What did Kevin Hart have to say about Joe Budden? This is what it is. You guys know I'm no stranger to negativity. I don't care about that. But I actually was a supporter of the progression of him and his podcast from All afar. Topics. I'm a fan of your growth. I'm a fan of what you're doing and the conversation behind it. That's dope. Yo, he's not doing business here. He wants to own it. He wants control. It's dope. To see you publicly shit on the guys that was with you, that's an example of poor leadership. That's an example of why you are where you are. This is why. Here's the answer. Point blank. You want to be by yourself. You want to be King Dingling. Oh. You can't do that. You can't do that. Wealth should be shared. Not owned. Facts. So this is a shout out, man, to Rory and Maul. You guys were dope as fuck at that job. Once again, I was a fan of the fucking podcast. It's a sad day to see this shit end when you guys were on your way to what seemed to be higher levels of success. I don't sit up here and promote the negativity. Wish there was a world where you could work it out. But you need a good fucking leader that understands it's not just him. I don't think Joe has that. Damn. Uh, I don't. I also don't like the the firing on air. Well, it's a what podcast, so it wasn't live, right? I mean, no, no. He was on air. He went on a little rant and basically told him that because he wasn't there, he was in breach, and then he was fired as of that moment. All right. Um, that was as I said. That was uh, Kevin Hart and uh, and his crew. Uh, he does a show with some of his friends, uh, very similar uh, to that uh, Joe Button podcast. From the standpoint of that there's fellas talking, straight from the heart is, is what it's called. And um, so uh, Kevin Hart saying that he, he was a fan of the show, uh, didn't like the way it went down and thought that Rory and Maul were very good at their job. And uh, basically he was saying that Joe Button it, things are going the way that they're going for him because of his attitude and the way that he wants to carry things. Now, um, Kevin Hart has had you know public spats with some of his friends uh, as well, and uh, like you said, he he's definitely no stranger to drama. So I, I thought he brought up some good points. I thought he, I thought he brought up some real good points. Uh, calling out Joe Budden is 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 good. I'm sure that he's going to talk about this. Joe Budden, that is. Uh, says that you want to be by yourself. You want to be the king. You can't do that, Kevin Hart said. Wealth should be shared, not owned. Does Kevin Hart practice what he preaches? 
I don't know. Maybe. I uh, it, it is sad to see the show go the way it's going. And at this point, it's is is way too far to be able to pull this thing back. Uh, but I think that Kevin Hart was pretty much on point with what he said. Uh, I am I'm glad that he said it. I'm glad that the show was on his radar for him to even talk about it. Uh, but it was all over the internet, you know, for the last few days. So uh, it it was hard for him to miss it and not at least touch on it at some point. At some point in time, what what happens next? Joe Button's going to respond. Joe Button's going to respond, and, uh, and and Kevin Hart uh, calling him out, <laughs> pretty pretty much calling him out. I just I just think that it's funny. Sometimes the message comes better from a different messenger, but Kevin Hart, a major star in comedy, somebody who does a show with his friends, someone who's had stress and turmoil with friends or well, people that he that he said was his friends at one point in time uh but has he publicly came out and bashed those friends eh, kind of you remember he got in a little trouble and he blamed it you know the the extortion was one of his homeboys right and then, oh i can't really talk about it fbi you know something like that um but joe budden a lot of things going on with joe budden there's some allegations that are floating around and uh we're going to have to talk about that. I mean, I, you know, how can you how how can we talk about about Joe Budden without talking about these these allegations? I mean, a lot of people are going to call out Joe Budden. A lot of people called him out. A lot of people said that I was too too soft on him. Uh when I wasn't I, I I didn't want him to fire them on the air. I didn't think that that was cool the way that was handled. You know, you like to do things behind the scenes. And uh <laughs> and all of that. Um, so anyway, in a weird, ironic twist of fate, there are some uh, sexual harassment allegations that are being thrown around uh, about Joe Button. So uh, Olivia Dope has called she's called joe budden out as well so joe budden currently under fire after dj olivia dope came forward with these accusations against uh the new jersey rapper well former rapper now a podcaster so uh olivia dope has left her position as the host uh she hosted a podcast over there uh, at the Joe Budden Network, uh, see the thing is podcast. She said that he consistently behaved inappropriately. Said that she's doing a video today to finally explain her departure from the see the thing is podcast as well as Joe Button's network. I sat with this for three months, she said, anxiously debating with myself if I feel comfortable enough to express my reasoning for my departure. Uh, and she did this in an Instagram post. It's a, this doesn't look too good uh, for uh, Joe Budden. Uh, I am here today, still uncomfortable, but I find the bravery to speak out on a very embarrassing situation, Olivia said, looking directly at the camera. On January 18th, 2021, Joe Budden sat in on a recording of the female-led podcast I was part of and continuously made sexual suggestive remarks to me that made me extremely uncomfortable as well as fearful of dampening the mood if I did not laugh along while he made those sexual remarks to me. Those moments, not only live on the internet forever, but it forced me into the decision of quitting the podcast. So after these allegations began to make their way through social media, uh, video surfaced of Joe Budden and Olivia Dope embracing. Olivia pointed out, feeling uncomfortable about the hug due to Joe moving 
his hips during the hug, not to mention the sexual comments that were made prior to the embrace. So, uh, so, so you have that going on. I, so he made comments during the podcast. I mean, I, you know, I'm gonna need to see a little bit more than that. I mean, they, you know, it's like a sexually like suggestive show. Right? I mean, I don't know, uh, but um, obviously, this is gonna this is gonna take more legs here. Uh, Joe Budden's is 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 incoming from all directions. Kevin Hart and other celebrities saying what they have to say. Uh, these allegations from Olivia Dope. Uh, she's leaving the podcast. This kind of stuff dampens the brand. This kind of stuff hurts what's going on. I'm sure that he wishes he could take back some of these moves that he's making. Joe Budden I'm talking about. This could mean nothing. Could mean everything. Could give him a lot more material. But um, I just, I don't even understand. Okay, so she's saying, she's saying sexual harassment. He made some comments. Um, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, you know, you want to respect women and you want, you want the workplace to be comfortable. So she's if she feels uncomfortable, she should be able to go and say, hey, you know, you're doing too much. But Joe Budden, given the kind of vibe that he gives, she might felt like she couldn't say that. I don't know. A lot of things going on. A lot of things going on. Joe Budden doing a lot. Uh, litigation. Is litigation coming? I don't know. Hopefully not. Hope, hopefully not. You know, um, a hug wasn't that. Uh, it wasn't that serious. But you know, it's it's all in how someone feels. Does she have a case here? I don't. I don't see a case unless she's got some more footage or unless she's got some more uh, uh, stuff. I don't know. This could be nothing. Or this could be the opening of some floodgates. It could be more women coming out the woodworks talking about Joe Budden made me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> that could be coming out of out of every. Well, wasn't Johnny Blaze on his phone or something like uh, or, or the last episode that he did? Is she going to come out and talking about she was feeling a certain kind of way about Joe Budden? Is this is this going too far? Yeah, yeah. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, TikTok, at the Diamond K Show, at Radio on Fire. Of course, RadioonFire.com, uh, Diamond K Show, daily. RadioonFire.com, also Diamond K in the morning, 8 a.m., where we talk news and politics. But on Diamond K Show, we talk about the foolishness, trending topics, entertainment, and, of course, music. A lot of, a lot of good music. Going on, they announced a date for Culture 3. Looks like June 11th for that. Looking forward to that. A lot of new music coming out. We're going to be talking about all of it. You got songs that you need uh, to send to your boy, DJ Diamond K at gmail.com. Go in the mix. And uh, I will get those joints on. Definitely. Send me that music, as I said, DJ Diamond K at gmail.com on youtube.com slash DJ Diamond K. Of course, for more content, visit radioonfire.com. Also, do this anywhere you get music Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal. Put in Diamond K. Check out some of the uh, club music, dance music, and hip hop that we have up there. Uh, I've been putting in the work. For a minute now, Baltimore club music, uh, my specialty. That's what that's what I'm known for. Uh, but uh, we do it all, of course. As I said, just search Diamond K anywhere that you get your music from. All right, so uh, we'll be back tomorrow, of course, 8 a.m. Diamond K in the morning, and uh, later on in the evening, 6 p.m. for the Diamond K show. Uh, of course, radioonfire.com.